don't know why I didn't do this in the first place guys it's not really going to cost me that much money and to be honest I really don't care anymore how this car gets on the road I just want it on the road It's a bit cold in this Nissan, the sun hasn't quite reached the end of the driveway yet. So, hi and welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. You join me in the Nissan 100NX. <sighs> yeah, so as you would have seen in the last 100NX video upload, we found the two bits of rust on the sort of rear arches that need welding for the MOT and that's what it failed on the MOT or part of what it failed on on the MOT shall I say and I also said in that video this car should be getting dropped off to my parents house soon because the 100 horsepower Panda is nearly ready for its MOT the reason I was starting to strip out the back was because I was told my Nissan 100NX would be getting dropped off to my parents house soon in order for my dad to start the welding work and to start working on the car in order to get it ready for an MOT now, the Panda 100 horsepower is near in finish, but as you know, my parents have a lot of cars in their collection. And my dad's had a bit of a crisis, so he really needs to work on a project of his that he needs sooner rather than later because another one of his cars was broken. That's basically a long story cut short for you, which means that although the Panda 100 horsepower is nearly finished, when I went over there the other night, they said, look, we're going to have to work on this other car before we get to your Nissan. Now, I completely understand that my dad needs this other car more than I need my Nissan 100NX kind of thing. But I'm just a bit annoyed, obviously, because I want this car on the road as soon as possible. And I completely understand my dad pushing this back because he needs something urgently. You know, I'm just his daughter who likes buying cars as well and is a bit of a burden to my dad. But I buy these cars and I expect my dad to fix them, which he usually does and he has done before. But he's a busy man with his own car collection that isn't getting done. That is another setback so i could wait and be like okay when you've done this other car i'll bring the nissan round which isn't a problem but that means we're waiting and i've had this car since oh january and it's literally sat here since because obviously it failed its mot and i'm waiting for my dad to fix it the panda then come along the panda's nearly done now something else needs fixing but so what i'm thinking is i need someone to fix this car for me so obviously the misfire is already sorted so all that this car needs for the MOT is a brake fluid change because that's black and three holes welding. So the two I uncovered in the last video and there's a hole on the sill. So I got in touch with the guy from RG Classics who plugged in my Mercedes for me and got rid of some fault codes. They haven't come back since. Obviously the Mercedes is now gone. So I got in touch with him. He was an old school mechanic. I've got him his number so I was texting him and I've told him about this car before but then my dad offered a help so I put him on the back burner. But I messaged him. And I said, look, my dad's too busy to fix this car. I literally need a couple of holes, plating over, whatever, brake fluid change. And then can you take it in for an MOT? And what's the rough price? And he's given me a good price. Now, it's going to be a bit of a, this route I'm now going to go by. Also, I'm going to have to pay someone to get the car on the road for me. But that means it gets done because that's this guy's job. And to be honest, I really don't care anymore how this car gets on the road. I just want it on the road. For now, I just want to pay someone some money and get this car on the road sooner rather than later. I have got shows I want to take it to. And, you know, the sun is shining today. I could be driving this thing with these shades out, with the roofs open. And that's what I've got the visions of doing with this car. Of course, I want to enjoy it. It's a semi-convertible. So I'm literally going to get my brother. He's got a transport business, as you guys probably know already. He's going to come. I'm off Monday. He's going to come on Monday, collect the car take it to RG Classics and I imagine what's going to happen is the car goes off on Monday hopefully the next thing I know I hear is hi Amber you owe us blah 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 you can't get your car tax insured it's ready to go I mean how amazing is that although I was going to pay my dad a bit of money to fix it I'm now going to have to pay a bit more to a garage but because they are a garage and this is just another job they want to fix a car to get paid so that makes more sense and so this has now speeded up the whole process I never vision this car might be on the road in a in a in a week or so it's just nuts it's just really really speeding up the process i don't know why i didn't go the, down this route quicker i literally just want this car on the road now and i don't care what it takes so that is going to happen so it looks like i'm going to have three cars on the road sooner than i had planned obviously which is a good thing but for costs it's a bad thing i might look at getting rid of one of the cars which isn't the end of the world it's not one i've really bonded with out the three and that will just give me money to fund having both the cars on the road and although this will be roadworthy it's still got rusty arches the paint isn't great if i am going to plan on keeping it i might want to put an exhaust on this like you've seen me do on the sr 
there are things i want to do to this if this is going to be a keeper i do like this car and it will need more money spending on it no doubt even when it's part of the mot for the mot i will have to go and get a battery because they'll be starting and turning off the car all the time for the mot this car does start with a jump pack but obviously because it's been sitting for so long the battery's dead it had a battery test in its previous mot which it failed and a battery test it failed so i'm just going to go and pop to my friends at ses auto parts in the events as sr go and pick up a battery oh i should have measured this one i haven't oh well i'm going to go and pick up a battery for this car but yeah the car will have a new battery for its mot and can't believe i've waited about four or five months since i've had this car and when you offer some a garage money they're obviously going to fix it for you and it's going to get done so much more quicker don't know why i didn't do this in the first place guys it's not really going to cost me that much money so that's just an update for you i'm really excited M might take you to ses with me let's go and pick up this battery hopefully it's the right size let's go and do that so yeah exciting times coming guys i don't know why i put a jack on it's quite warm guys today start up here we go ses auto parts for the nissan 100 nx here we come again all right battery's been retrieved from ses auto parts and I've got a battery clamp because my dad let me borrow one of his ratchet straps for a little while, but also that's only a temporary solution. We now have an official universal battery clamp. Right, I've brought some CDs with me this time so I can listen to some of my old music through this radio and the sound system is awful, I have to say. So let's get out of here, I think. So I've got a very busy day today. It's the day before my meet, so I've got a set up for that. I've now done the errand of picking up the Nissan 100NX battery. I might be going to look at and buy another car. It's a non-roadworthy car, but it is kind of cool. It's rare. Because I'm thinking of selling a car, I'm going to replace it with one. To be honest with you guys, I will probably look to fix up and sell. So the car I'm probably going to get rid of, I think I can make money with it. And then this car might be going to buy. It's priced low. MOT failures don't look that major at all. I seem to have an eye for these cars, so I might just look at and a little dabble in this sort of stuff so if i buy another car you'll soon know about it and yeah there's just a lot happening in the pipeline at the moment behind the scenes here with me buying cars selling cars fixing cars it's quite exciting it's quite stressful it's all happening this is a life in the youtube channel of a passionate petrol head lady that's me